Macs and MacBook Pros are by their very nature fast machines, but even they're prone to slowing down with age and use. There can be a number of exact causes for this, and I've decided it's time to cover the prime suspects here, telling you why your Mac may be slowing down and how to speed it up again. A few things about computer ownership can be more frustrating than when a computer starts to slow down. Thankfully a slow Mac doesn't mean you need to run out and buy a new one. There are multiple ways you can speed up your Mac and here they are. Free up storage. One of the easiest ways to keep things running smoothly with any macOS hardware is to free up storage. The more crowded the SSD, the slower it will run. You can go through a whole tutorial link in the description and clean out anything unnecessary but the easiest step is to optimize storage. Start by heading to the Apple logo in the top left corner, clicking on about this Mac and then storage. From here you can see how all of your storage is being used. Now click on manage and start taking back your space. It's in this window that you can optimize storage by removing content you have already viewed on iTunes or Apple TV. Empty your trash or go through and delete large files that you no longer need and get rid of anything you can and free up storage for better, faster performance. Don't forget to clear out your browser caches as well. Disable login items. When you reach a point that your macOS hardware takes longer to boot than it normally does, it's time to disable unnecessary login items. These items can accrue over time and it's easy to forget what you've given permission to run as soon as your computer starts. To see what's running, click on the Apple logo on the top left, System Preferences, and then Users and Groups. Inside this window, click on the tab that says Login Items and see what is checked off. Each of the checked apps starts whenever your Mac is restarted or powered on. The more of these you have enabled, the more likely it is that they are at least part of the reason your computer could be running slowly. Disable apps that you don't use or don't want and take back some much needed memory. Repair disk permissions. With the installation of every app on your Mac, a set of permissions is added that enables access to the program for each user. These permissions can become damaged over the years and cause slowdowns to your Mac without you ever knowing. But fortunately, correcting these permissions is incredibly easy. Go to your Applications folder in your Finder window and locate the Utilities folder. Inside this folder, you'll find Disk Utility. Once the app is open, make sure your hard drive is selected on the left-hand side and then click on First Aid across the top. Note that while running these repairs, your computer can slow down a little bit so it can properly fix any of the broken permissions. Use Activity Monitor. Activity Monitor is the single best resource for finding absolutely everything that's running on your macOS machine at any given time. Everything from your open applications to behind the scenes operations will be available through this window. If you see apps that are open that are not currently in use, close them and save some memory or RAM. Another big reason to watch this space is to identify apps that are consistently eating up more memory than necessary. For example, Chrome is often considered a memory intensive browser, especially on Mac, and with multiple tabs open, it can quickly slow down even the most powerful computers. If that is a scenario that affects you, look to less resource intensive browsers like Safari, Microsoft Edge, or Brave. Disable visual effects. Another aspect of Mac ownership that can often be overlooked are visual effects. Effects like magnification, animating applications as they open and automatically hiding the dock can impact overall performance. If you want the absolute fastest performance out of your current hardware, go to the Apple logo, System Preferences and Dock. Look out for the boxes to uncheck the three aforementioned features. You can always play around to see if just one of these is enabling hardware slowdowns so that you can keep the rest running. You can even disable them all. Either way, this is a minor step that can potentially have some major effect. Restart or update. Obviously, if all else fails, restart your Mac. It's always a good first port of call. It's unquestionably the easiest step on any list for speeding up your Mac and could solve the problem entirely. The same goes, however, for making sure your Mac is up to date with the most current software. Bugs or software problems can often cause slowdowns, and until a fix or patch is released, there's little you can do to resolve the issue. If that is the case, make sure you are keeping current with every macOS release and individual application updates from the Mac App Store. Mac computers are some of the best at managing memory thanks to Apple's ownership of both the software and hardware. Unfortunately, that does not make them immune from slowdowns. That is why each of these steps can be so important as they are your first line of defense at rectifying any slowdown. 
don't just rush out and buy a whole new computer. Instead, start with this list and see if the problem is solved. You may just save yourself a whole lot of money. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.